Hi there, Wycliffe Barrow Text Plane Dedicated. In my rush to get a video out, I forgot to mention three things that I said I would do, which was reshade, tug master, ground handling, and A350 from Flight Factor. I do apologize, guys, but in my rush to get everything out, I just forgot to do those things. So this video is rectifying that. First of all, Jar Design Ground Handling Deluxe. You can get this from the Jar Design website, and it's an absolutely fabulous uh, application. You load it in, install it, and then you have to go and get yourself some traffic sets uh, from wherever you can, mostly from the Jar Design forums. Uh, this traffic set is for the Airbus A320. I think that's the 320, or could it be the 330? I can't quite see. But anyway, you get your traffic sets, and you can get all your ground traffic coming to your aircraft. As you can see here, I've got the buses coming down the side there and the baggage uh, handling and catering trucks loading up to the aircraft there. And also you see the fuel uh, gauge at the bottom right there. Let's just have a look at, see what it looks like at night time. All very nice, all the lights flashing and reflecting off the fuel, fuselage of the aircraft. Now you can create sets if you wish. Uh, creating the sets is a little bit complex because you have to do it based on coordinates, but there are lots of sets, aircraft sets around uh, on xplane.org and as I say at the Jar Design website. As you can see, uh, bring up the control panel there and you can turn off individual things so you can hide certain aspects of your ground handling uh, or you can hide them all, uh, which is easily done just by clicking on the button that says hide all. You can see me hiding individual um, uh, pieces of equipment such as the coaches and the baggage handling as I go through and, and just hide hide them. As I say, you can turn them all off. Just got rid of uh, the catering trucks. I think the fire engine is going to be the last to leave the fire engine at the back of the aircraft there. There we go. And when you create sets, you can have as much or as little as you want. There's all sorts. You can also have different liveries. I believe there's Gate Gourmet and Sky Chefs. So you can have different liveries for your ground handling uh, vehicles as well. Really, really simple to use. Uh, it's a plugin, so you just install it into your plugins folder. And once again, there you see all the trucks and stairs, everything coming into place. The fire engine at the front. There's a limousine turns up and an ambulance as well. So you get ev on this particular one, everything is there. As we come back to midday and the shadow falls beneath the aircraft. That's X Plane 10 uh, at Birmingham. Moving on, let's have a look at. Jar Design Tugmaster. Now, Tugmaster is a pushback truck. And as you can see here, once again, it's a plugin. You put it into your plugins menu, and when you click on Tugmaster, you get this little kind of um, mouse arrangement. You click on the settings icon top left of that, and you've got all these different settings. So you can have a small truck the, just to the left of the pole. You can have a medium truck. Uh, which is the Airbus one. So that's the Airbus type one where it goes under the wheel and it lifts the aircraft. Or you can have a large truck. Here's the large one here now. Uh, just zooming out a little. So once you've chosen which truck you want, you then call it. Okay, so the left hand button at the top there on the little uh, control, you call it and it comes into place. Unfortunately, because of the ground handling staff there in front of the aircraft, they're going to get flattened. Uh, which is a bit of a shame, we don't want to watch that. So here we are, you then lock lock on, and then when you lock on, it's activated. You get the blue button in the center there, you press that button to push back. Now, it can be quite awkward because depending on which way you're facing, you might either be pushing back or pulling forward. So you, it takes a little bit of getting used to. I'll speed the film up here as we just push back the, the aircraft. Can't imagine any A330 being pushed back that fast, in all honesty. But there you are, that's it, that's it, what you do. When you've got pushed back, you then uh, say goodbye to the truck, unlock it and say goodbye, and it disappears, just like that. This is Reshade 3.04.157. Now, Reshade is, well, as it says, it's a reshader and it manipulates the um, graphics internally, the color graphics internally of X Plane. This is in X Plane 10 again. It's a little bit 
finicky to use and also the installation you need to read the installation quite closely it's not difficult but you just need to read it and then you have this graphical user interface which i found a little bit confusing but then again i didn't read the manual i just put it in it's fairly intuitive there are six presets available with reshade um, and i used a couple of them some of them didn't work as you would expect and you have to reload uh, all the others of them especially the color one worked really really well and it did change things dramatically uh, but so that's standard that's default so that's default and I think we're gonna go to the color one um, so that's default X plane and here we are open it up and I find the color and we'll click on it and see what happens and there you go you see that's I, I say subtle but it isn't subtle when you actually have a look around everything is really vivid and bright and you know and you can create your own uh, profiles as well however you want to do it that's that's I think that's hazy days or something which was quite nice I actually quite like that one um, but as I say rather a little bit complicated to use and I wasn't quite sure of what I was doing when creating my own profiles and like I said I hadn't read the manual um, and I like things to be intuitive so hopefully you know you just start it up and you'll understand what's going on straight away with this I think in terms of creating my own profile I was a little bit dubious not dubious I was a little bit wary of what to do not that you could break anything you can't break anything in x plane um there's that color one again which is really quite vivid and you know it's like high summer uh really good but uh, one word of caution it does alter things inside the cockpit so you know normally where the cockpit would be a standard color it, it becomes really dark and shaded and i you know i wasn't too happy with that uh there are alternatives out there um Max FX does this similar sort of thing but a lot easier and a lot simpler but um, I did a review of that some time ago so reshade is free you can get it from www.x-plane.org xplane.org um, so it's worth a look at especially because it's free um, some people have reported that it crashes their machine I do think you need quite a healthy uh, machine for this you know a high specification machine for it to work uh, certainly with some RAM because sometimes as you as you change which one you want you'll see it like up on that top bar there that top dialog at the top of the screen it's saying uh, you know uh, changing 48 effects so it's actually changing an awful lot within X-Plane um, to achieve this look I like it I just wish it was a little bit more intuitive Anyway, as I say, it's available on xplane.org. It's called a reshade. Uh, why don't you go and get it and have a look and then you can make up your own mind. Finally, I said I would have a look at the Flight Factor A350, which has been updated for X-Plane 11. I'm going to be really, really honest here. It's been that long since I've flown this aircraft that I haven't got a clue what I was doing. Even though it is an Airbus, it still took me a while to relearn how to start it because it's it's so complex this aircraft is so complex uh, which is actually one of the things that flight factor are very famous for anyway it has been updated for x-plane 11 although it is not the full professional version with the fmc that we were hoping for with citizen stars that is still in development and that will be coming out in the near future sometime so just to say that the a350 has been updated for x-plane 11 this is the splash screen that you see when it starts up it is really really superb it's a beautiful aircraft an awful lot to look at and an awful lot to learn there you go we'll see you soon Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, smash the like button. And uh, I'd just like to take a moment to say thank you to all 2013 of you for making x -Plane Dedication on YouTube the channel it is. Without you, without your support, I'd never be able to do it. So once again, thank you very much. If you like the video, smash the like button and give me a thumbs up. And please share the video wherever you can. We'll see you soon. Cheerio.